Who's YouTube? All right, look. It's your man Kenneth Lee back again. My video's a little different. I'm not like everybody else. I'm not finna get pretty for nobody. If you hear the past science, pay attention real fast. Get you a pen and paper and be ready. All right? Get you a GED book if you do not have one. All right? Just to study certain things that I tell you at any given point. Let's get into it. You want to pass science? Study this. If you do not know where to study it or where to get the proper information from, plus if they don't teach you in class, hit me up, comment, go to my Instagram at I am underscore Kenneth Lee. Find me that way. Ask me the question. I'll find the material for you. Look it up. I'm basically spoon feeding y'all. Okay, so there's no way you can't pass science after this. You got three sections of study, okay? Um, and do them one at a time. Do not try to do them all at once. Learn it first. First section is life science. Here's what you need to study in life science. Number one, cell, I'm sorry, cell structures and functions. First thing. Number two, human body systems. Number three, reproduction and hereditary. Number four, evolution and natural selection. Number five, organization and ecosystems. That's it. That's all you need in that. Here we go. Earth and space. I hope you're still writing. I promise I will be writing. Structure of cell. Number two is earth and resources. Uh, number three is earth and solar system. That's it. Physical science. Property of state and matter. You need to know that. You need to know about atoms and molecules. You need to know about chemical reactions. That's really important. You really need to understand how to do chemical reactions. If you do not comment, I do not know, can you help me? And I will make a video and upload how to teach you how to balance out chemical reactions. Simple. Um, and you need to know motion and force. These are most things that you can find on YouTube, but most people ask me, where did you go look for it at? Whatever I just named that you do not know how to do and you really need help with it, like in a hurry help because you're trying to test fast, do not take your real test first. You need to take at least the minimum of three practice tests. For the simple fact that the first test is going to show you what you need to work on. If you pass it, good. If you don't, okay. Second test is going to show you the progress that you've made since the first test, okay. Third test is going to show you where you are now, where you're standing at now. Then you go take your real test. Anything I just said that you do need help on completely and real fast, say something. Comment. Again. I just passed my GD, okay? Show y'all something else. I even show you my score. All I got is a 150. And I was just studying by myself. If you got higher than that, if you took the test before, good. I'm just telling you something to everybody else that's going to help you get over the hump for passing science just to have it in the bag. All right? If you can see it, awesome. If you can't, sorry. 150. It's easy. And this is studying by myself. Not in school, because half the time in school, they can't individually sit down with you and give you what you need. So I'm about to give you what you need. As a matter of fact, that's just it. All you need again is a 145 to pass. Do it, get on with it, you're done, okay? Move on to the next subject. If you need social studies, comment, I need social studies, and I will give you the syllabus to study for social studies. We're done. It's time to graduate, y'all.